How's it going everyone? Many of my students are struggling with playing a minor 7 flat 5 arpeggio and I wanted to share this with you because I think it's a very beautiful sound. You know, we practice the major 7, the 7, major, minor, that kind of stuff and it seems like the diminished sounds are kind of like always last call, you know, so I think like why? They're, they're, they're amazing. Maybe because they're less... Uh, Functional, I guess, for some um, more common uses of our harmony. But anyway, let me show you the arpeggios. By the way, if you want to dive really deep into everything I show here, with tabs, notation, everything, you can check out the link in the description of this video. So, minor 7, flat 5. This chord, for example, can either be looked at with this being the root, this being the flat 5, this being the 7 and the 3. You get these sounds, which can be inverted with these voicings called drop 2s, right? Now, what you can start doing is, you can start thinking about this also as G minor 6. You see, this is G minor first inversion, this is the 6. And you get this kind of sound. Now, think about it as a G minor, it kind of changes your perspective and also the function of the chord potentially, if we will talk about chord progressions for example. So let me show you the arpeggio. The, the arpeggio of the minor 7 flat 5 has a root, a flat 3, a flat 5, a flat 7. So this is the sound. Now let me show you the position. You see this is the flat 5, flat 3, root 7, flat 5, flat 3, root 7, flat 5, flat 3. Let's play that in time. have this nice G minor 6 sound. Okay, it's really useful because when we use minor 2 fives, the first chord is usually a minor 7 flat 5, right? If you have a 2 5 to, to a D minor tonality, so you have a minor 7 flat 5 chord, usually something like an A altered chord then, and then any type of D minor. This is one of my favorite uh, minor resolutions, by the way. So, when it comes to phrasing with it, it's very good, even before you start phrasing, just to really make sure you know all these arpeggios, right? So you start associating them to different inversions of that chord which is the exact system that I teach inside my Galactic Modern Guitar series. There's a whole module with instruction and everything you need to really learn any drop to in any situation and then start voice leading them while always seeing the arpeggios underneath them. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how to apply them also into actual standards there, etc. So check it out. <laughs> Okay, so now when you want to start creating phrases with that, what you can start doing is you can start aiming into chord tones. Which you know, if you've been watching for a while, that's a lot of the work that I've been talking about. Noticing the arpeggio is one thing, but knowing how to create phrases with it is another thing, which has to do with approaching Now, if it's not intuitive for you, think about it as if this is your landing points, target tones, and you just need to approach them, so you're kind of like dancing around the arpeggio. And then you can just play the arpeggio. You can also notice that I'm utilizing long notes and, and shorter notes. 
right? And dynamics as well. If you want to check out a cool video where I talk about the different aspects of dynamics, articulation, and how to make anything you play, anything you learn more musical, check out this video right over here.